At 70, Benjamin Franklin was helping to draft the U.S. Constitution. Winston Churchill was 70 years old in 1945 when he led the United Kingdom to victory in World War II. Accompanied by 70 elders, Moses went up Mount Sinai and saw the God of Israel. At 70, Peter Pretorius feeds over one million children every day and preaches the word of God. Peter's real, he's authentic. He doesn't put on an act, you know where you stand with him, he'll be straightforward with you but loving and you know that that's a friend you want, especially on your side when you go through tough times. He will give us words of wisdom uh, about real marriage, about life itself. He is the most dynamic, talented, incredibly strong, determined person. Peter is an African. He does not see color. And I believe that's one of the reasons God has blessed him so tremendously. He's somebody who walks into a room, you know, he's there. Um, he's got a presence about him, uh, and physically so too. After all of these years, there's no backing off. I mean, Peter at his age is just going, you know, he's still young on the inside. Peter was 34 years old when he found God. Realizing his calling, he transformed his tobacco barn into a church. As his confidence grew, he shared God's word with Africa, often at great personal risk. Jerry was sitting right on the side of the truck that this big truck hit on, and I mean, I saw it coming, man. It was like even the Lord showed me, and I just threw myself down and pull Jerry in towards me. It's the only thing that saved his life, I tell you. Peter knew Africa's hunger for the gospel. But in 1984, Peter's faith took the ultimate test. Stranded in the village for 10 days with no food or water, he watched helplessly as tens of thousands starved to death. Peter, in my opinion, co-suffers with the down and out, with the needy, with the lost, has real compassion. That's the heart of God. And that's why he's blessed. Doing what Jesus would have done. Peter heard God's call to feed starving children. He was not the only one with grief in his heart. When I was with my dad, Life was always good. Sometimes when he was away for a long time, it was just that sharpness in the heart of a little girl that, you know, she wants her daddy. But Peter understood sacrifice was God's way. It's such an absolute privilege to have a father who is a general, you know, um, in, in the spiritual space. Those touched by his love know the generosity that flows from his life to theirs. Peter played it big with the hand God dealt him. Because of Peter, Africa is healing. God's children are saved. The 70th birthday. It is a time of life when you arrive at a new and awful dignity when you may throw aside the decent reserves which have oppressed you for a generation and stand unafraid and unabashed upon your seven terrace summit and look down and teach unrebuked. Oh, power! In heaven and earth! Is his.